So in this video you are going to learn how you can basically export game in Unreal Engine 5 EA2 or Early Access 2. So let's get started. So first of all we will be create a blank project and make sure that is for mobile and set it to maximum audio scale. Then you can give it any name and click on create. Yeah by this thing we can basically create our project. Also at this time you can check my others playlist and also you can check my google play console account. Uh, or not console like my google play store account so there are some games available and some apps available also so you can check them and basically you can also give it a try okay now like it just give it a try okay so as you can see our project is ready so your first step is to create a game mode and simply character for your game so let's start so let's create a new folder and let's give it name others then just double click and just create a simple character for our game and a simple game mode for our game uh, and make sure that is in the game then click on save and also we need to click on save so we have our map data because we need that so once you have all things go to settings and go to your world settings so at world settings you need to basically set up your new game mode and inside of your game mode set your new player or whatever your character once this thing is done now you can click on play so as you can see we have basically our character or basically our simple game so now let's start learn how you can basically first of all before export your game you need to do some optimization thing just think that you have two different types of map one is for kind of like a some asset map what you don't need and once the main main map that you want so now if you make sure that if you export that also like the other map also so it will be basically uh take so much time in the exporting so make sure that if you have any useless assets or some maps so make sure that you deleted that okay and make sure before do anything make sure that you build the lights okay so then you need to go to edit then plugin so at the plugins you can find that there's some useless plugins is available kind of like we are going to export our game for android right but if i search ios or this should be in all settings if i search here that ios as you can see there's ios profile is available why we need that ios profile in an android game we don't need so just disable this stuff that i will ios online subsystem so what it will be do basically it will be don't do this process kind of like because it's enabled the plugin so unreal engine will take a process so for that your game size can be big also it will be take so much time also if you check our game is a android game so we don't need any type of vr but as you can see the ocean vr and octal vr and steam vr is currently available so we need to disable them also so by this thing we can basically uh removing the useless plugins from our game so it will be take it will be give our a good result also it will be help us to basically process at this time once you do that just go to project settings and then at your project settings go to maps and modes then at here you need to select your new maps which one you have the main map and select your also your game mode now you can basically go to your plugins again and at here uh, sorry just go to your plugins and because the restart button is available now click on restart so it will be automatically now open your exactly the same map which which one you want to open first okay and as you can see it's automatically open so everything is now set up so now let's go to edit then project settings now let's go to packaging and then at here set it to development to shipping because in shipping mode uh, to development mode if you set it to development mode and export your game size can be 120 mb but i show i show you some tricks that it will be redirect your game size also you find some videos in my channel that reducting packaging size okay so you can see that redacting packaging size okay so we are doing the same process for unreal engine 5 okay so at here set it to development to shipping and then here that include include that installer disable this thing once you do that click on always and then click on this icon that show advanced then at here click on at here that cook only maps this only affected on google that mean that which one is only affected in our game that is only be cooked others no, not okay then if you want if you are using the chunk file or the asset delivery system google asset delivery system so you can enable these three two things also but in my case i'm also only use this one and also make sure that you click on create compress uh, compress cook package okay 
once you do that you did you now you need to go to your basically android sdk now at here you need to basically set up your sdk ndk and jdk if you don't know how to set up so you can also find a video in my channel that how to set up sdk ndk and jdk it's also available in my channel okay you can check and basically you can you know basically we are here you can see this video that full setup so that is the same process for unreal engine 5 also just set up the sdk ndk and jdk once you do that you need to go to android now at here you need to click on configuration now at here you need to give your com dot package name data make sure that your game content com dot okay after then you write anything kind of like uh test okay i'm just giving that test and make sure that you set your application display name that is basically your game name so let's give my game name uh export android okay i think the android is spelling is wrong however then if you are also exporting your game for your google play store so make sure that your targeted sdk version is 30 or 31 in my case i'm adding the 31 okay then you can set it that package game data inside of apk but make sure that if you are using that google asset delivery system so don't click on this thing so your package game data or your asset delivery system can be break okay so make sure that uh if you are using the asset delivery system so you should be disable this thing or if you are not using so just disable just enable this thing okay once you do that you can click on force small ovv files and then make sure that also for exporting game for google play store generate the abb files if you are using if you are not using don't need to do then at here you can set it that which version of you want that ms 64 and 8 and also open gl estc or other device also okay you don't need to open this configuration for the google play service for now we don't need okay but if you want you can change the icons from here that is a video also available in my channel that how you can basically change the your game icons okay that is available at here maybe somewhere let's see why is that bad? basically but you can find this video also in my channel so just check if you want to change your icons or set up the icons and that is complete now click on save once you click on save now click on platform and also one more trick that uh, some of cases that if you had used some textures kind of like uh, you must be used in your game that texture so if you are using the texture so for getting the highest compressed what you can do basically you can go to android and just scroll down and here you find that multi x texture format that is include that etc2 texture and dxt2 texture and astc uh, texture so you can disable these uh, two ones because their compressed method is not so much good kind of like you can find some pixel or resolution problem or even your game size can be big so for also reducting your game size and other stuff and also get a high result or performance you can only export for include etc texture only so it will be give you the best texture quality now everything is set up guys now you can basically go to platform then go to android and if everything is a uh, setups at for you so you find the android icon is available and make sure that is ship, ship uh, development to shipping then click on packaging pack, uh, packaging project now is everything is good you find like a pop-up bench like that why you want to save so in my case let's give it to in my music folder and click on select the folder now it is start exporting the game so it will be take maybe half an hour to export and also uh, also depends on your projects or you know, how much asset you are using or which type of asset you are using kind of like if you are using a 4k or a 2k asset it will be take some time but if you are using a blank project or also uh, just a 64 or a 10 or 24 texture so it will be take less time also it's depend on your computer cpu or your uh, processor as you can see there's a simple problem coming that is uh the plugins useless plugins okay so there's some problem coming in the useless plugins as you can see uh why because if you check correctly in my plugins in my content browser there's a bridge plugin available but for a android game we don't need the bridge plugin so you can also disable this thing so go to plugins and just search that bridge and just disable this thing and click on restart now so it will be done so then let me show you after then export okay so as you can see that currently uh, not currently currently our game is successfully export in unreal engine 5 so here's the all the process as you can see it's compiled the everything okay what's you need for compress and compile 
and once this done once this thing done it will be da start downloading the some files from google's that library and other stuff once this is thing complete and here the as a result the build success so now let's check in our content or in our pc that in our music folder then go to androids and here our apk plus obb let's click on properties and open as you can see it's now only a 82.9 mb that is so much reduct and also now you can use this uh, apk file in your game or in your, not in your game in your device just click on uh, the files and click on install and you can test so i just hope you understand that how you can basically need to export your game in unreal engine uh, 5 so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video